Hello everyone, thank you so much for tuning in. Yield Max ETF has 32 different ETF and a new ETF is getting added pretty much every other week or so. So knowing which one to buy and when to buy and what strategy to use is a difficult one. It's a tough decision to make. But not if you watch my videos. Those of you who watch my videos knows I performed a detailed mathematical analysis to make life simple and easy. A few days ago, I did a video where I performed detailed analysis, all 32 of those. And then from that, we came up with the five best performing yield max ETF and the five worst performing yield max ETF. So if you want to know about the detail of that, how it was done, all the numbers behind it, so please visit my channel. The video is in there. Since it's not in the scope of this video, so I will not be talking about it over here. Now, in this video, I will be taking a deep look into yield max ETF ULTY. And one of the reasons for picking this one up is because it has a distribution rate of over 100%. There are a few others that have it be up over 100, but I already did a video on that, so I will be focusing on ULTY on this particular video. What we'll be doing is we'll taking a look at the numbers and see, okay, should we buy it or avoid it? If we buy it, what are the strategy that will make the most of the money, right? Because that's what our goal is. We want our money to grow, grow faster than the plan. And we want the most of it, right? We want the highest rate of return on that. But before I go into the detail of the video, one request, please share, subscribe, like, comment. I am on a mission to have 1000 subscribers by the end of the month. I'm halfway there. So I, I need your support to reach that goal. So please subscribe. One more thing. I'm not a financial advisor. So I'm not going to tell you what to sell, what to buy when to sell, when to buy. I am a mathematician. What I do is I do just mathematical analysis and you will see it in a minute that what does it really mean and how this make a decision making process so simple and easy. With that, let's get it started. All right, so what we will be doing is we'll be talking about the yield max ETF ULTY in this particular video. So let's click on ULTY, couple of things that you need to, to know about this is, I will come to that in a second. So that fund was started in February 2024, right? So almost like us, eight, nine months ago. And this one is like expense ratio of 1.24%. It's a pretty high expense ratio actually. Most of them are below one, but this one is 1.24 that that's higher than others. Now, the other thing that most of the people ask me, hey, why don't you look at NAV when you do the calculation rather than the stock price? Because if you look over here, right, NAV and stock price, they are pretty close to each other. And it's very easy to get the stock price from Yahoo, Google, then the NAV price, right? So that's why I like to use the stock price and you can see that they are pretty close to each other. So the it is so small that when I do the calculation, it does not make a big difference. That, that's the, number two, what you want to see, okay, these are the monthly distribution that was getting paid. So if you look over here, the first distribution was paid on March 18 for dollar each. So pretty much the average is like a dollar on each month. And this is the monthly that's the distribution is getting paid over there. And also if you look at this is actually a, not a single stock ETF, this is a mutual fund. So there are so many different stocks that has been bought for, for this uh, ETF and the income that generated through the, the option are distributed as a distribution. So with that, let's get it started. Let's, I'm going to do this, okay? So here's what I'm going to do for the ULTY. What I'm going to do is, okay, we will take a look at the different strategy and see which one of these make more sense. Number one, okay, we will buy it and hold it. Now, as I showed you, right, the monthly distribution is getting paid on, monthly distribution is being paid on this one, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to just buy it 
hold it and every month we will take the distribution out as a cash that's number one we'll do that the first strategy that we will use it the second one is instead of taking the cash out what we will do is we will reinvest the dividend we will take that money that we earn through the dividend and we'll buy more stock of RT, right so it's called a trip dividend reinvestment plan and now if you really look at it with the new distribution schedule it's been staggered as a weekly payment so now most of the people or some of the people i've been talking it seem very excited about it flipping it okay i just like to flip around just buy it and sell it so what i want to do is i want to look at it and see okay instead of buying and holding it if we use the strategy of flipping or hopping around every month does it really make sense on a monthly flip we'll do a couple of things first thing we'll do is okay we will just buy it a day before distribution and sell it the day we get the payment and see how does it perform the second is there are some people that commented that well what they like to do is they like to buy it before the distribution is paid and then they actually keep it and in this strategy you don't get paid dividend but but you you know you make some money out of it and the last one we will take a look at the best case scenario what that really means is we will assume that we are smart we are we are like have an ai generated computer and we have the ability to pick the lowest price of the week or the month and sell it at the highest and see okay if that is the case what is the maximum that we can make so these are the five different strategies we will be looking into that so let's do this okay so let's just start on alt right so the first strategy is buy and hold right and we will cash out the monthly distribution so let's take a look over here buy and hold so if you look this is what i showed you right if you look over here the fund was started on 228 so and then these are the monthly distribution that was paid so what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy it from here and then paste it over here right so this is what i copy and paste over here so now I, when i take a look at the monthly distribution right this is the month i just took it from here transferred it into the excel spreadsheet so i add all this up right so it come to eight dollar for this so what is the dividend we earned so far 850 right if we bought it and hold it in our account the total dividend that was paid so far was eight dollar fifty cents. now let's take a look at it i use yahoo because it's easy to use and i go to the historical data take a look at historical data over here the first trading day for ult was february 29 and the price was 1935 right so go over here 229 the price is how much is the price was 1935 right 1935 so if i invested five thousand dollars right and the price of the stock is 1935 what that that means is I can buy 258.4 share of ULT1. I do know we don't invest in fraction, but for the sake of simplicity and calculation, I believe it as it is. <clears throat> so if we buy 258 share of ULTY at a price of $19.35, it's worth how much is the price of ULTY today? Which is 19. You take a look over here. Ten dollars four cent, right? Ten dollars four cent. What does that mean? That means each one of them, I'm under dividend of eight dollar forty eight cents. I own two hundred and fifty eight point four of this. So the total dividend earned on this one is two thousand one hundred and ninety dollars. Now, what's the value of the stock so far? The share price is ten dollar four cents. And I own 258.4, 25.94. So what does that mean? That means I earn 21.90 on dividend, and the value of this stock is 25.94. If I add both of these, right? If I add this one and this one, the value come up to 47.8517. What does that mean? That means five thousand dollars which I invested in ULTY at the start of the fund is equal to 4785 
It means instead of making money, I lost money on this ULTY, right? And how much I lost? 4.3%. So this is the strategy number one, right? So let's take a look at it. Strategy number one, we buy and hold it. And whatever the distribution was getting paid monthly, we just cashing it out, right? So let's take a look at over here. This is the result of strategy number one. Now, strategy number two, what we're doing is, instead of taking the cash out, we will take the money and reinvest it in dividends. So let's take a look at this one. So I'm not going to go into the detail of every single one of this, but just let's start with the first one. I just make it simple and easy to make you understand how we started. Okay, so so the price was nine. 229 the price was 1935 right so we bought 25840 1935 let's go this 1935 25840 that's what we bought right now here's what we're going to do right as i said what we're doing is drip dividend reinvestment plan what that means is the day dividend get paid right what we will be doing it instead of taking the cash out we will reinvest it into the same stock. Right? So here's the first one. Let's take a look at the first one. On March 18, we got paid for $1.60, 1 1.06 dividend distribution. Right? So let's take a look at this. I'm just going to move this over here just for this. Okay, so here. So, so 1.06, this is the dividend we are, right? So how much share we have? 258 and 40 we have, right? Not Let's take a look at what the stock price was on March 18. March 18, the stock price was $18.02, right? $18.02, $18 right? So, I have 258 share of ULTY on March 18. Since I got paid dividend $1.07, since okay, dollar seven was a dividend. I have two fifty eight, so total dividend earned was two seventy five dollar twenty seven cent. Now, I earn this much of dividend, and I have the stock price of this is eighteen dollar two cent. What that means is fifteen point two eight more share of ULTYs purchased on March eighteen. So now, I started with two fifty eight. I purchased fifteen more. If you add both of these, it comes to two seventy three sixty seven. Right. The same thing over here, now second dividend, right? On the March, was the first one, April 19 was the second dividend of 1.42 cent, right? So, let's take a look over here. 142 was the dividend that was paid on the 419. We own 273.67 of share of Alti, so the total dividend earned was 142 for each, and this one, 387, right? Now, Let's take a look at the price of Alt on 419. 419, which is was 1423, right? 1423. What does that mean? That means is what that means is 1423 means how much can we purchase? We earn this much as dividend. The price is 1423, 2725, right? No. So we started with 273.67. After distribution was paid, we bought 27 more from the distribution money. We're not putting our own money. We just invested $5,000, right? And since we started with 273, 27 more was bought, it become 300. So same thing, you just keep doing month after month, month after month. And then as of today, I have 448 share of ULTY. So, when I made an investment of $5,000 on February 29, I could have only bought 258.40. Now, since the monthly distribution of paid from instead of taking the cash out, I've been keep buying the Alti share. So now, as of today, I have 448 share of Alti. 484.82 is the share that I have now. What is the price of Alti today? Let's take a look at the price of Alti. $10.04, right? $10.04. So if I multiply this, with this 48675. What does that mean? Five thousand dollars that I invested at the start of the fund on February 29 is worth only 4867. Instead of taking the cash out, 
I've been reinvesting and buying more and more and more because I thought, okay, let's average it down. I can make more money. But no, that's not the case here. So strategy number two, dividend reinvestment plan. How much it is? For it. So what does that really mean? The first two strategy, buying it and taking the distribution month after month. On the surface, the distribution looks so healthy, dollar each. It may give us a wrong sense of hope, right? But in reality, you'll be losing money, 4%. For those of you who, instead of taking the cash out, doing the dividend reinvestment plan, same thing, losing money, right? Both cases are losing money. Yes, on drip, you're losing less money. But hey, I don't invest to lose money. I invest to make more money, more money, more money. And that's what I do. That. So let's take a look at the another three of those. I'm going to go quick on that. Otherwise, the videos become too long. And most of you do not watch long videos. So let's, let's start with the other one. Exactly the same strategy. In this one, what was the strategy number three? What we're doing is we're buying it before a day of distribution and selling it a day of payment, right? This is the strategy number three, monthly. We're monthly flipping it. Just before a day, distribution is announced. We will buy it. And the day the payment is made, we will sell it. So let's take a look over here, monthly flip. So this is the date the distribution is announced. This is the date the payment is made, right? So we'll buy it a day before distribution, right? So okay, it's announced on 3.13, we'll buy it on 12. 416, we buy on 415, and we will sell it on this date. We will collect the dividend and then go from there. Okay, so let's take a look at it, right? We purchase on 312, 415, 513, right? 312, 415, 513. We sell it on the day of the dividend, 318, 419, 4517, right? Right over here. Buy sell date and buy date, right? Now, so we know that the dividend, there's monthly dividend paid over here, right? So we already have it over here. Well, I can be did over here, the monthly dividend paid. So I just copy and paste from here, put it over here. Now, let, all we need to do is we just need to take a look at the price on March 12th. That is the date we are purchasing. Okay, let's take, take a look at one of them, March 12th. March 12th, we purchased it at 1924, right? 1924. And we sell it at 318. Let's take a look at it. What the price on 318 is 1802, 1802. What does that mean? We buy, we buy it at this price, sell it at this price, and we got this much dividend. So let's take a look at it, right? So here, this is our selling price, right? This is the selling price plus dividend, right? The price we sell it and the dividend we turn. But we have to take out what we did the purchase price, right? So what does that mean? It means we lost 15 cents. If we just flipping around, we lost 15 cents. Since we have 259 of this share, we lost $40. So you keep doing the same thing over and over again, and you can get the result of it. Let's take a look at this one, right? Let's take a look at August, right? On the month of August, the distribution paid was 0 0.7803, 0 0.7803. And since we're buying it the day before distribution, we'll buy it on 8.12. And we sell it on the day the payment is made, 8.16, right? Now let's take a look at what the price is on 8.12. Price on 8.12 is August 12. August 12 is 11.23, right? 11.23 the price. And we sell it on August 16. Let's take a look at you the price on August 16 is 11.06, right? 11.06, okay. So what does that mean? Okay, let's take a look at it. Sell price plus distribution minus so what does that mean? We make 61 cents on each one of them. So, and since we own 445 of these, so we make $271. Not bad, actually. So what does this really mean? But I'm, when I look at it, the first five months of this, this fund has been losing money every month if you've been flipping around. But the last three months, even though it's small, but it still is generating cash. It's giving the positive income. Even though it's not that healthy, which I like to see, but it still is green, right? But if I add all this, right, if you all this, it come up to minus 358, 32, right? So that's the study number three, 35, 83, right? So, so far, if I invested the beginning of this, and I, with all three strategy, really lost me money. Now let's use the strategy number four. What is the strategy number four and five? I'm gonna do quick on that. The strategy number four is we purchase, okay, here it is, right? We purchase on the date of X dividend date. What that means is if we purchase that date, we're not going to get the benefit of dividend. We won't get dividend paid for that. 
but we purchase on this date 919 and we sell it before this ex-dividend date. So we are selling in such a way that we will not get dividend paid, but we believe that the price of the ETF is high on that. It will generate income. And that is true, actually. So let's take a look at it. 919 was the price of it, 919. August 19 is 11.23, right? 11.20. Well, actually, no, 9.19 was the price. Purchase date, 9.19. 9 is actually September 19. 10.48, right? 10.48. Now we're selling it on October 16, a day before that. October 16, let's take a look at it. What the October 16 is? 10.74. What does that mean? Okay, with five, we invested $5,000, right? And the purchase price was this one. So we bought 47710. Now let's take a look at it. Right? What does that mean? How much money we make on the right? So we own this many share, and the price is this one, 512405. What that means? This strategy actually generated cash, right? So let's take a look at the strategy number four. Oh, this is the first one that generated positive income, right? I mean say. Now let's take a look at the last one. That is the best case scenario. I personally think that's not humanly possible month after month. Yeah, one month you can get lucky. Say, well, two months you can get lucky. But doing it month after month is just impossible. Impossible. No one in the planet Earth can do it. So, But just for the sake of um, calculation, I want to take a look at it and see what the maximum that can be generated. So let's take a look at it. So. What I'm doing is I'm taking a look at it. Okay, I'm going to pick a date. Okay, here, 10 to, I'm going to look at this date go over here. So I look at this and I take a look at this, the this lowest price. I mean, so let's take a look at what the lowest price was. I had it. When, when, what did I had over here? At 10.02, October 2, October 2, you see that 10.28, right? That's the lowest price you see over here, right? 10.28. Actually, no, October 3rd was 10.23. So, 1004 is October 8, 985. That was so. I think I just little bit somehow I messed things this one up. Purchase the 1002, 1010, 1002, 1010 is October 2. Oh, yeah, the lowest year. Sorry, yeah, I'm looking at the lowest by this is the low one of them. Sorry, I was looking at the wrong one. Okay, so October 2, lowest one is 1010, right? So 1010 because I'm trying to pick the lowest one, 1010. And I sell it on 10.18, the, the day I got a payment over here, that and the price was 10.18 was 10.04, right? So the same thing. So what does that mean, right? I mean, say you invest $5,000, you purchase this price, you earn, you buy 495 of those, and the dividend paid was 83 cents. So the purchase price was 10.10, we sold it at 10.04. So this price multiplied by number of share we have is 4970 and we earned 0.83 dividend on every single one of them. We have this one of this, 5379.55. So let's put it over here. Now, the best case scenario give us a result of only 8%. So I don't know, it's up to you. All I do is the mathematical analysis is your decision whether you want to buy it or sell it. If you want to buy it, what is the strategy you want to use it? But to me, should we buy LT or avoid it? For my personal, I will avoid it. Uh, there are so many better options available. Of all the 32 ETFs, there are so many better. You can pick any other one of them. So if you really like to know which one, go watch another video that I did a few days ago on the year to date best performance and the worst performance stock that will give you an idea to start with so i hope you like this video if you did please share subscribe like comment i will see you soon with some other video thank you and have a good day